And, and again, I think we uh, already in a question we say that crypto, uh, crypto asset service providers are facing challenges. I disagree. We have been having um, proof that since Mika has been nearly rolled out, um, banks have understood that cryptocurrencies are here to stay. So once companies like the crypto asset service providers have fulfilled their requirements of Mika, it's way easier for them to get a transactional account. It's way easier to get an operational account. Uh, because banks know what to do with that. Uh, otherwise, banks have been afraid to bring in those high-risk businesses as they have defined them as high-risk for corresponding banking relationships and what will happen. So let's just not give bank accounts to those particular companies because they're too, too high-risk. And this is going to change with Mika. And we see as well that from an investor perspective, um, companies as well are, which have uh, on the process to, to get this particular license have a bigger access to funding from like VCs and, and larger investors. It is like a little bit like a proof of quality, like a trust stamp that you have fulfilled those particular type of requirements. Okay, we can talk now about the other side, right? Oh, you're on virtual asset service provider, you operate, and now there's all of this stuff that you have to do. This is correct. There are things that you have to do. You have to do blockchain-based analytics. You have to understand where the customer's funds are coming from, where they go to. You have an obligation to not cash out money from customers, which we will define as shady. Okay, what is a shady customer? What is a shady transaction, right? But we, we have this experience from you know, Bank of Latvia on like all of the other organizations globally that we've been in this business for quite some time. So we know which type of customers are more connected to higher risk, so we know how to mitigate uh, these particular challenges. And Nika is, um, is allowing us to use the same logic for financial transactions for alternative finance for crypto. It acknowledges cryptocurrencies as a financial transaction to a certain degree.